Hey, what's good? It's your boy, BQ. This is something I started last year, and it's called my Way Too Early Bound for Glory prediction. So they haven't even started building Bound for Glory for the most part on television, but just based off what they are doing, I'm going to come up with the matches I think are going to happen. I did this last year. I only got one correct, and that was Babyface Taya returning to challenge Tessa Blanchard. So nailed that one. Uh, but, but got the rest of them wrong. So there's a good chance I'm going to get all these wrong as well, but just something I want to do to have fun. First prediction for a match is going to be Michael Elgin versus Rhino. I know it's something we've already seen once. We're about to see it a second time, but uh, I just have a feeling with this one that it's just going to continue to go. Uh, with the Mexico tapings and the Vegas tapings, I don't really see where at this point they can, they can build a feud with any more heat than that for either of these two guys. So I have a feeling they're just going to keep going forward, and I'm pretty confident in saying it's going to be some kind of specialty match. Probably something like a hardcore match. Um, maybe a cage match. That would be pretty cool. I prefer something like that because too often too often we see the hardcore matches, the no DQ. And, you know, I don't really have any interest in that, so if we're going to get something like this from them again, I would like to see them in a cage. We haven't seen a cage since they came back from the six-sided ring, but... Going back to what I said a second ago, I don't think between now and Bound for Glory, they can build heat in a feud for either Rhino or Michael Elgin. That's going to match what they have right now. So I think we're going to get those two uh, going at it all the way up to and through the paper. All right, so number two, I'm going with Ace Austin versus Eddie Edwards. I think this is going to be more about the storyline and the build. I'm sure they're going to have a match between now and then. Um, Impact used to be really good about keeping guys away from each other and now they're kind of getting kind of like WWE does where they have several matches and then they wrestle again on the pay-per-view. So most likely we're going to see more from these two, but I think it's going to be really, really storyline driven because obviously Alicia is part of this. I'm, I'm going to say Alicia possibly turns on Eddie and um, links up with Ace Austin. The reason I say that is because with Alicia, if they want to take her seriously as a character, as a wrestler, they have to get her away from being Eddie Edwards' wife and all these angles. You know, you can still acknowledge that, but, you know, with Taya and Johnny Impact, you know, like they were married, but they were able to have their own storylines. They haven't been able to do that with Alicia. So uh, I think there's going to be some shenanigans with that. But I'm pretty confident in saying Ace Austin and Eddie will face each other at the pay-per-view. Very similar to what I said with Rhino and Elgin. There's nothing that they can do between now and Bound for Glory. It's going to build more heat for the two. All right, number three, X Division title match. At first, I had him versus Tessa Blanchard on here. But I made some adjustments just this morning to my, to my list. So I'm going to go and say that the X Division is going to be in a, uh, in a scramble match. Very similar to how they've kicked off the last couple pay-per-views. But I don't think it's been for the title the last couple pay-per-views. But they've been doing some kind of multi-man match. I think this time around, that's how Jay Chris is going to defend the title. Because I think with everything Sammy has going on, I think it's too difficult at this point to build a separate feud for Jay Chris. Unless it was versus Tessa. Which, um, I have different plans for Tessa now. So, I'm going to say they're going to go the safe route, the entertaining route and have a multi-man X Division title match. Match number four. Uh, this one was pretty difficult to come up with because there's not a whole lot of tag teams right now. Obviously with LAX out of the picture, you need someone else to step in. You need other people to step up. So what I'm going with for the tag team championship, I have the North defending their titles against Rich Swan and Willie Mack. Willie Mack has never really had anything to do um, since he's been part of the company, Rich Swan isn't going to go back to the X Division. So I think the thing that makes the most sense is tagging them up together. And I think that they will make a run at the Impact Tag Team Championships at Bound for Glory. Fifth match, I'm pulling this one out of left field a little bit. But I think we're going to get Madison Rain versus Rosemary. Now they're doing a really good job incorporating all the knockouts into the show. So you can envision a scenario where Sue Young is involved, Havoc is involved, Kira Hogan... Um, Jordan Grace. I mean, you could pretty much put any knockout on the card at this point. At first, I was going to go with Sue versus Havoc, but I know they have a match coming up, and I have a hard time believing they're going to drag that out all the way to Bound for Glory. So I feel like the seeds are being planted a little bit for Madison versus Rosemary, and I'd be excited because I'm kind of ready to see Rosemary take on some of the knockouts that she wasn't wrestling previously uh, when she before she was injured. 
So again, that one's a little bit out of left field, but for the next knockout match, because they're most likely we're gonna get two matches. So that brings us to number six, the other knockouts match. I feel very, very confident saying that Taya Valkyrie is gonna defend her knockouts championship against Tennille Dashwood at Bound for Glory. I think it makes way too much sense at this point, and you know, when I say it makes too much sense, I mean in the way that Impact has fought for years. You bring someone in with some name recognition, with some buzz, used to be in WWE, they get a title shot pretty quickly. So I think that Tanil Dashwood is gonna challenge for the Knockouts Championship at Bound for Glory, and I think she's probably gonna win. All right, so next two I've really, really gone back and forth with. This is number seven right now, and it's what's gonna happen with Sammy Callahan. Now, Sammy Callahan has been the number one contender for the world title. I don't get the feeling, just based off the last couple episodes, ever since he's won that number one contendership, I don't get the feeling he's main eventing Bound for Glory versus Brian Cage. I think he's going to get his world title shot on a taped episode of Impact, and he's going to lose. Tessa's going to cost him the title, and we're going to get Tessa versus Sammy Callahan part three. Number eight, the main event. I've been going back and forth with this but I really don't think that Brian Cage is gonna defend the world title Bound for Glory against Sammy Callahan, even though Sammy deserves to be in that main event. I feel that he is gonna be taking on Moose in the main event and will be defending his world title. I also think Brian Cage will probably drop the title at Bound for Glory, just given the way his title run is being, and I think you can build a new story with Cage of trying to get back to prominence and having the world title run that he wish he had the first time, so. I think it's time to put the title on Moose. And that's who I think is going to be challenging for the world title. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time here and you made it all the way to this point, please consider subscribing to the Impact Lounge. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.